just overwhelmed. So many of my friends from Faring Way are here. Thank you. My friend Irma Hansnelli Adams. I'd like to her to step forward here. She is a cadet nurse and we serve together. We'll tell you all about the cadet nurse corps because I'm sure you're saying, why I never heard of them. So I'm going to give you a little overview of what we accomplished during World War II. After Pearl Harbor, all the registered nurses volunteered to join up with the Army or Navy. Consequently, the hospitals were left understaffed without nursing personnel to take care of the sick. An urgent need for nurses was underway. Enrollment at schools of nursing had dropped to an all-time low, and the current training program was insufficient to take care of the military needs, let alone to take care of the sick at home. President Roosevelt signed the Nurse Training Act on July 15, 1943, it established the U.S. Cadet Nurse Corps. As a result, 180,000 young people joined the Cadet Nurse Corps. Wow. wow. The, the training offered an innovative solution by compressing the regular three-year traditional nurses training to two and a half years. The new cadet students would have to simultaneously attend class and work on duty from 7 a.m. in the morning until 7 p.m. at night. Oftentimes, if we were busy, it would be later. From 8 to 10 was study hours. And a typical day for a cadet nurse would actually start at 6 a.m., work the six and a half days a week with every other Sunday off duty for two and a half years. And for our service, we received $15 a month. <laughs> As senior cadets, the status equivalent to that of a graduate nurse, we supplied 85% of the care, not only to military hospitals throughout the country, but to all civilian hospitals that did not have schools of nursing. They were able to meet all the needs of the military and the civilian nursing care as well. We prevented a total collapse of the health care system and without us would have probably realized, probably we would have had a very sick and demoralized nation because we assumed greater responsibility than was ever thought possible. We elevated the status of women and that of the nursing corps. At the end of three years, when the cadets passed State Board of, Exam of Examination, there were 124,000 registered nurses that were available in the post-war years. We're very proud of what we accomplished. And the commander that was in charge of the Cadet Nurse Corps, Surgeon General Thomas Perrin, speaking before the Joint Chiefs of Staff at the end of World War II, and I quote, he said, regarding the Cadet Nurse Corps, we cannot measure the loss to our country would have been if civilian health care had collapsed any more than we could measure the cost of failure on Normandy beaches. I think by telling that my story today, we have honored all cadet nurses.